Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14, he said in the last days, the glory, of the, uh, the glory of the knowledge of God will cover the heart as water covers the sea. Your phone is bigger than many library. Hello? That's how powerful information has become. Your phone is bigger than a lot of library. Once you have data and you go on the internet and you go on Google, you can read about any subject. Am I correct? Our children, they know Google more than we know Google. Everything they see for the first time, they don't go to the dictionary like us. They go to Google. Before you know it, your child has already picked up your phone, went on Google, and was trying, and he's trying to check the last thing he saw that he didn't understand to read about it. You see how information age has... So information age is where we are right now. To be ignorant is to be poor. The poor in mind is the poor indeed. The poor in mind is the poor indeed. Is the poor indeed. The rich in mind is the rich indeed. That's why the Bible says in Colossians 3.16, he said, let the word of God dwell in you richly. You need to study God's word to enrich your mind. I'm going to talk to us next week on how you can generate ideas, how you can make... Look, what I'm preaching to you is 2022 message. Is what? Is to prepare you for 2022. You, you, need to, you need to get to that point where you, you, every day, your mind is producing. Your mind is what? Not that your mind is uh, backbiting. What you occupy your mind with will determine the kind of function your mind will, the area your mind will function. If you are always thinking about what other people are wearing, what they are eating, how they are living in their house, if that's what concerns you all the time, your mind will be producing after that. But if your mind is about inquiry, inquisitive, how can we improve on this? How can this get better? If your mind is more of idea, you are talking more about idea than talking about people, you'll be shocked how rich your mind is. Praise God. Some of you the first 90 days in 2022, you'll be making dollars. You'll be making pounds. You'll be making heroes. In the name of Jesus. Some of you will be making currencies of countries you have never been before. Some of you will be making impact in places you have never been before. Your tentacle will, be, will, be, will, be, will spread everywhere. Your voice will be heard. You won't die as a local champion. You won't die as a local champion. Amen. Some of you, you will know, not be limited to your salary. Amen. Your salary will become... Somebody shared a testimony last Sunday. He said, my salary now, when they pay it, I just say, okay. Because he has several sources of income that are several times bigger than his salary. So when they pay it, I say, oh, thank you. You'll be bigger than your salary. Amen. You didn't say, man, where you should say proper Amen. amen. You think your salary is big. That's why you are... You don't know inflation can catch up with big salary. Your salary is what your employer determined. Your income is what God determined. Oh, sorry. What you determine. Your income will be bigger than your salary. Amen. You're not saying amen. amen. You will know more than your teachers. Amen. People that taught you the things you are doing today, you will be proud of you. They will be proud of you. Amen. 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 You make God proud. Amen. What you are doing at the moment in the name that is above every name, you are taking the front row. Amen. You won't get lost among the crowd. Amen. You, won't be, you won't be average anymore. Amen. Enough of being average, you will not be average again. The lines nobody ever crossed in your family, you will cross it. Amen. The places nobody ever been in your family, you will be there. Amen. The heights nobody ever attained in your home, in your family, you will attain it. Amen. You break boundaries. Amen. You break through barriers. Amen. Oh, you're human. you break through barriers. Amen. You will break through barriers. Amen. You will break through barriers. Amen. You will break through limitations. Amen. You will break through limitations. Amen. You will operate like genius. Amen. Your creativity will be above the average. Amen. Your creativity will be above the average. Amen. 
the creativity, the divine creativity of God in your DNA, I command it to come alive. The divine creativity of God in your system, in your brain, in your mind, in your blood, I command them to come alive. You will have answer to problems. You'll be a solution provider. When people come to you and they are stranded in the name of Jesus, you will offer solution. You will offer solutions. The way you are offering solution will announce you. You become a global solution provider. Amen. You will become a global solution provider. Amen. What others can see in your field, your eyes will see them. Amen. Your eyes from today will not, will not only look, but it will see. Amen. You will see what others can see. Amen. You will see what others can see. Amen. From today, receive the ability to see what others cannot see. Amen. Receive the ability to discover what others cannot discover. Amen. What is beyond the natural eyes, begin to see them. Amen. Your email is not loud at all. Amen. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, that the prince of this world has blinded their mind. Every blind mind hearing my voice, may your mind be open. Amen. You didn't say amen properly to that prayer. Amen. The greatest avoc. Satan can do to anybody. It's not to blind these eyes. It's to blind the mind. I have seen blind people that are successful. I've seen multi millionaire blind people. I've never seen a successful blind mind. So Satan is very smart. Second Corinthians 4, 4. He has blinded the mind. Lest they see. Not lest they look. Oh. They can keep looking and not see. I command your mind to be open. The, the eyes of your understanding this morning, I command you to be enlightened. Amen. From today, you will see with the flood light of heaven. Amen. The tiniest idea, you will locate with the flood light of heaven. Amen. Where others are passing and they can't see anything, your eyes will see something. Amen. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Everyone sitting on gold, you will see the gold. Everyone sitting on treasure, you see the treasure. Amen. Wherever you pass and there is treasure there, you will see it. Amen. Your image is not loud at all. Amen. Put your right hand on your two eyes. All eyes are closed, all heads are bowed. Every spiritual blindness come to an end. Amen. Every form of spiritual blindness comes to an end. See, when a man that is not married or a woman that is not married pass the bone of his bone, he won't see it. That's what makes people make their boyfriend, their husband, they'll make it boyfriend. Because he can't see the treasure. You know? Even when you are parents to children, you're supposed to see the treasures in them. From today, your eyes will see treasures. Everywhere treasure is, being, is hidden, your eyes will see it. The Bible talks about the hidden riches of the unbeliever. You will see the hidden riches. Wherever gold is, your eyes will see it. Wherever treasure is, your eyes will see it. In the name of Jesus. A Lebanese man said, Nigeria is the richest country in the world. He said, but the most tragic thing is that most Nigerians can't see it. You will see it. The treasure in your land, your eyes will locate it. Some of you on your way back home, you see treasures. Throughout this week, you see treasures. The remaining days this year, you see treasures. The treasures in your children, you see them. The treasures in your spouse, you see them. The treasures in your life, you see them. The treasures in your nation, you see them. The treasures in your world, you see them. Every spiritual blindness comes to an end. Begin to turn that to prayer quickly. Turn into prayer. Ratastali, open your mouth and pray that prayer sincerely from your heart. Let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. Let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. I 
I refuse to be blind anymore. No more spiritual blindness. No more mental blindness. I will see treasures. My eyes will see treasures. My eyes are open from today to see treasures. In Jesus' precious name we pray. A woman and her husband, they were so poor, they could not feed their children, they could not pay their one-room apartment rent, they were owing, they were borrowing, they were... So they were thinking of what to do. They are Christians. One day, the woman said, God spoke... You know, it's good to have a wife that God speaks. He said, God spoke to her. To her. The husband said, hey. he said, what did God say? He said, God said, they should start frying Akara. Ah, the husband said, he will need Akara. He said, God said, they are going to make a lot of money. And God said they should go out that he's going to tell her where to put the Akara. So they went out in the evening and they got to a junction and the woman said, God said, this is the place. The man just, you know, sometimes you just say, just, they spoke to somebody, they said, yeah, 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 Emma Lou. They, they started, the man, the, the man didn't join her. She was in the evening, she, in the morning, she'll fry. When the man saw what she was bringing home, the man started joining her. They built a house from the place. They were struggling in one room. Oh. One room. They were struggling. They were struggling. They cannot even pay the rent. They built a house. They trained all their children from there. The man and they do it together. They do it in the morning. They do it in the evening. They have time to rest. The man learned how to do all the things together with his wife. He became their company. I prophesy. That idea that will terminate your poverty, that will terminate lack in your life, Within the next 90 days, you'll come in contact with it. 90 days. That idea that we put an end to poverty in your family. Within the next 90 days, the Holy Spirit will bring it to your mind. In fact, 90 days is too much. The first seven days here, you will come, it will come in contact with you. The idea that will terminate all your struggle and bring you to a place of stress-free success. That idea, the Holy Spirit will plant it in your mind. That idea that will make you live bigger than your salary. The Holy Spirit will put it in your mind. That idea that will change your financial story. The Spirit of God will put it in your mind. That idea that will change your life forever. The Holy Spirit will put it in your mind. Wave your hands and give him glory. Appreciate him if you believe it. Thank you, Jesus. I will never be the same again. I'm leaving this place changed and transformed. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen.